Look, we're on the back of that. Oh my god, and it's alive. It's a stink bug on the back of these pennies. Head on into the Salvation Army thrift store, see if we can find anything in here today. Got some cool lights on up here. Shall we get a basket? It's 50% off yellow clothing and shoes. Here. Yellow clothing and shoes? What does that mean? Tags or? I haven't been here for <laughs> I don't know that means I don't know that there. means tags or color. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, it has been a long time since I've been here as well. So where do you want to start first? Hard goods. Hard goods. Okay, well let's just take a Oh, okay. It's yellow tags. Would be 50% off. I found this little yellow Valona star, little yellow picture. Super cute. It's $1.99. I think I'm gonna get that. Just gonna try to show some things while the radio's not <laughs> playing music. <laughs> I always see this print everywhere, this Faultcraft print. These are just like plastic dishes. What I like about the Salvation Army is that they usually like bag stuff up really nice um, and then just hang it up. Things that kind of go together. There's some old rickrack on a spindle. $2.99. Plus the prices here are usually really good. So that is always a plus. Filter air, three disposable dust bags. Sometimes it's worth looking stuff like this up just in case People have this and need replacements. So we'll do that real quick. You can tell this Easter grass is older just by the packaging. Plus it feels like it's grinding. <laughs> What are we going to do? Got to fill it up. Some jewelry boxes. I always liked these kind. The one that roll up. You stash your goodies in there. This thing here, if it were new in the package, sells really well. Um, unfortunately, this one is open, probably used. Might even be some, some dead bugs still stuck in there. What the heck is this? I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks like underwear. Oh, maybe it's for a dog. Something like that. Oh, someone must have made that. Oh, how cute. How could you get rid of something like that? I was going to get this, um, this is by Valona Star, unfortunately it has like the tiniest little chip here, it's something you definitely got to keep an eye out for when you're in the thrift store. Oh and I love these, this is a brass mouse, and then there's a fish back there, and then there's this big whale here, they're made by Gatco. super cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, I like him. This is obviously like something newer, probably from like Target or something. 2005. It is a tea light warmer. 
but I like how it has a vintage look to it. It's really cute. Grandma and Grandpa are maybe all like opposites. They get really Grandma and Grandpa get it, and maybe just keeps collecting. I'm like, oh lord. It says Japan. Oh. My mother doesn't seem to realize that she won't live forever. And she can't take that stuff with her. No, she knows that. I think she thinks that I'm going to want it all the time. I think that if she realized what would happen to it later on, she might not. Yeah, she's like, I'm not going to collect it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that says on the bottom. Okay. This is another one. It's a whole tea set in here. These plates are weird looking. What the heck are they made by? Oh my gosh, heavy. It just says room essentials. Pattern looks really familiar. It's really pretty. I like that a lot. Lulu Guinness. It still has the tags attached. It's a nice Calvin Klein wristlet for $4. That looks like it actually attached inside of a bag because there's no way to hold it like, or carry it like a wristlet. Hey, pretty mama. It's like, <laughs> no matter where you go, you will find Ipsy bags. <laughs> Well, yeah, they were really popular there for a while. I don't know if they still are. What's that? It feels thin. Does it? What's this one? Oh, it feels nice and thick. Oh, it's just Morona. So that's from Target. Target. So the prices here are a little better than Community Aid. Still not the best. This is an Oscar de la Renta tote for $8. That probably came with like perfume. Victoria's Secret bag. How much do they want for a Victoria's Secret bag here? What did they want for one at Community Aid? Like 20 <laughs> some dollars. Uh, 15. Oh, well, up. yeah, that's actually like a purse purse, not really like a tote bag. It came with a lot of pen. A lot of pen marks, <laughs> yeah. Big gooch. <laughs> oh, that thing is dirty, dirty, dirty on the back. Dirty, dirty, dirty. I'm in front of you again. I know, and it bothers me <laughs> so bad. I'm the one that likes to set the pace. Like when I'm ready to move on to the next. I want the chance of finding something. Yeah, before me. Then I will, I will never live it down. I smelled vintage right here, so I'm like kind of looking like oh, it's old. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. That is such a sweet way of thinking. Is it? It is. Makes my heart just so happy. What's this one? Kathy Van Zeeland. Yeah, nice that used to be popular. Not six bucks. A surprise, yeah. No, oh, that one back there. Yeah, that's... No, this one comes with a pink stain. For a five. What's that say? Oh, Stone Mountain. No, I can tell you right now. It wasn't... I didn't think it was a Burberry. 
Okay. It has like some horses embroidered in it. That's why. Mm -hmm. Joe Boxer made purses. Yep. He made everything. Just, socks. Just can't get by on boxers. Yeah, socks, underwear, pajamas, purses. What's that? The inside looks nice. I don't see nothing though. Hmm. If there ain't nothing, it is nothing. If it boy, it comes with some drink mixes down in there. Cool. Things you found in but purses. is it $4.99 or $7.99? There's two price tag. Well, I take the yellow one because that's half off. <laughs> True. <laughs> this looks familiar. Um, you had something in that design before, didn't you? I don't know. I think you're thinking of Dooney and Burke. Oh, and yeah, but that's not it. No. That looks like. Possibly Brighton back there. Where? This one here. John, you have to come back. John, come back. Come back, John. <laughs> you have to come back. <laughs> yeah. They must be getting really like flooded up there at the counter. Over here, lots of necklaces. Looks like they're three dollars and ninety-nine cents a necklace, which isn't bad. I still need to go through my other mystery necklace bags that I have to share with you all. Oh, check that, check that chunker McChunkster. And over here is. Clip on earrings, bangles. Well, they have an absolute ton of designer purses. They're just all behind the counter. Yeah, tons of them. Oh my. You want too much. I can tell you right now, some of them aren't real. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Point to that. Um, well, what, that one right there in the front? Yeah. Uh, I think. I think you might be right just because of the hardware on it looks not very good. I'd have to actually touch them and feel them though. Um, there's a Dooney right there. I wonder how much they want for that. Can I cheat and try to see? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna set an alarm off. Can I can I find out how much that one is right there? I was just trying to see okay. Oh, crap, ear. <laughs> he is 39 39 That's nice. $40. Alright, thank you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> they have a bunch of these Zara shoes, brand new with tags. They're originally $59. They want $30. $30. Come out. Old Salvatore Ferragamo men's dress shoes. Gonna clean those up. They'll probably clean up really nice. And these guys here are actually new. They've never been used. And they come with the cleat spikes. 50% um, off the yellow tags today. So they'll be like three bucks. So finding some shoes. Just kind of going on down the line here. Bershka. What's that? What is Bershka? I mean, they look really nice. $20. Bah! And not yellow tag. Bah! Oh, you actually put your foot in the gator's mouth. These are Michael Kors flats. $10. Wow, that surprises me. The other Michael Kors shoes I saw on the other side were like 20 something. But they are like really, you can see just how wide it is, just stretched out. So I'm looking at the underwear here at the Salvation Arm. Look what's on the back of that! Oh my god, and it's alive! It's a stink bug on the back of these panties. That's gross. Hi guys, so 
so I am finished here at the Salvation Army. I have my basket all filled up and ready to check out. All right, so I am ready to share with you guys the haul from the Salvation Army. So I'm just gonna get straight into it and show you what we decided to pick up. Um, let's start with the shoes first. This first pair of shoes, these were really sweet and um, they are in brand new condition and the shoes as well as the clothes that had a yellow tag were 50% off so I didn't even pay um the full price on these which was um they were originally $5.99 and it's really funny because there was a tag on here from the store I guess like the thrift or consignment shop that um was selling them before they were donated and they were being sold there for nine dollars and 99 cents so that's kind of funny but these are just some puma cleats and they i don't think have ever been worn just absolutely brand new you can see the bottoms there and they come with the cleats they're just kind of like attached on this little baggie here so I thought this was a really awesome score. Um, I do think these are for uh, like track and field, um, but I haven't actually like looked them up exactly to find out specifically what sport or, you know, you know what I mean, for track and field. Uh, but I do believe they are a women's and they are a song eight and a half I believe it says in there so yeah great score for these and even though we are coming into the winter months um I still like there is not a set time frame in my mind to list things uh people are searching for stuff all year round especially since Christmas is coming um if someone has a um son or daughter in sports are going to be going into a sport come um, next school season, then, you know, Christmas is coming and they might be looking for some nice, a nice set of shoes. So I got those and then this was funny. We found another pair of Shimano cycling shoes. Um, we did pick up a pair of these, uh, not too long ago and the ones I do have them listed. They haven't sold yet. Uh, but these are actually women's and the other pair we bought were men's and these again, they look brand spanking new. Now the last pair of Shimano's that we got came with the, um, bottom pieces here. But these ones do not. But they were $7.99 and we did get these at 50% off as well. And like I said, these ones are women's. And yeah, I just thought those were a nice find. Uh, it's definitely not something I've ever picked up before. Um, as far as like I'm just now starting to buy cycling shoes when I see them uh, to sell. So that was a fun find just to see that brand again. I was like, hey, I remember that brand because I just already have bought it recently. And then these shoes are some Salvatore Ferragamo men's dress shoes. So there is some condition wear here. Um, this one pair doesn't have their shoelaces. Um, this pair does but they, the shoelaces themselves are in horrible condition. They're like fraying and everything. So they definitely need a shoelace replacement, which isn't a hard thing to do. Um, typically when people see shoes like this, especially in this kind of condition, they're kind of like, mm, you know what I mean? They do require some cleaning, some TLC, but I would never just leave Salvatore Ferragamo shoes laying behind in the thrift store, no matter what the condition, because they can be cleaned. And you can see even on the toes here, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it kind of looks almost like the color is coming off. Well, people 
tend to wax these and things of that nature. So you bust out some leather cleaner, you get these all cleaned up and they will look like new. And the bottoms really aren't that bad as well. And Eric has really been loving um, just kind of cleaning men's dress shoes. I don't know, I think he might find it relaxing, but um, we were excited about that. I did pick up this little Lefton vase. I don't know if this is like an urn vase. I'm assuming it's a vase. I don't know if it had any kind of like lid attachment to it. I just assumed that it was a vase, but it does have the little left in sticker there on the bottom. This was $1.99. And underneath the, these price tags right here, you can see um, someone has a yard sale sticker on the bottom and I was curious as to how much they had it priced at their yard sale and they priced it a dollar at their yard sale and Salvation Army priced it $1.99. So that was funny. You can hear a... Alright, enough of that. Um, <laughs> let's see. I did get two pairs of clothing items. The first one I got, and I should have had this all buttoned up and looking nice, but you know. Um, it's just this green plaid men's button up long sleeve shirt. This was $5.99 and it is by Woolrich. And I like the fact not only because this was Woolrich, but men's larger sizes. Um, definitely sell well. I, I say the same thing with women's sizes as well, like the plus size sells easier for me, but this one is a 3XL tall in men's. So I decided to uh, pick that up to list. So I thought that would be great, especially for fall and winter. So got that. And then we also picked up this Harley Davidson jacket. This is just a kind of like a, it's a lightweight jacket. It's not like a leather, you know, motorcycle jacket, but it is black and gray. It says Harley Davidson here on the front. There's like a little patch here that just says Harley Davidson motorcycles. And then on the back, it says Harley Davidson racing. So this is a size large, which is great. And we paid $9.99 for it. Um, it does need clean. It's a little bit dirty, but it can be cleaned up. And I thought for $10 for Harley was a really good deal, especially since it's a jacket and the weather is getting cooler now. So I figured it would probably sell a little easier. And I'm just checking the pockets right now just to, you know, see if I would happen to find anything. Um, if you've watched my yard sale haul videos, you know how much fun I've had going through um, per our purses, seeing if there's anything in purses, which I have found some stuff. So if you haven't seen any of my yard sale hauls, definitely check it out. You know, I didn't check the... Um, I didn't check the pocket on the Woolrich yet. Come on, money. No, there ain't nothing in there. Anyway, <laughs> um, next thing I got, and this is by Tivana, and they pretty much closed, I think, all Tivana stores. I mean, you can still buy, I'm pretty sure you can still buy um, some Tivana brand things, but I think all the stores closed. So I did end up picking up this Tivana Bamboo Tea Tools. This was a, or no, it wasn't a dollar. It was $2.99. But looking it up, um, most people had theirs listed for like mid 20s. And it is brand new. All of the utensils are still sealed in their little baggie in here. So you can see it comes like all the little utensils are in their own little like bamboo um, holder. So I thought that was really cute. I love tea, but I don't necessarily see myself putting this to any kind of use 
for myself. So I will be selling that. So that was a nice, a nice find in my opinion. Anyway, that is everything that I purchased from the Salvation Army. I will say I feel like it had been a while since I was in in there. And I do feel like um, they, along with every other thrift store, are catching on to brands and things of that nature. Because there were some stuff there that was really priced high. And even like looking in their display case and I had asked to look in like a basket of wallets, they even had their fossil stuff listed really high. And a lot of times you can go to a thrift store and they might not realize fossil has much retail or not much retail, but much sellable value kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, Salvation Army definitely knows because uh, their stuff was priced pretty high for their um, designer things. So let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, what you thought maybe like my best find of this haul was. And if you have a Salvation Army close to you or one that you go to a lot. Have you found anything recently? How are their prices? So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.